it's Cassie. Welcome to my hashtag SummerBod44 series where for the months of June and July in 2016 I will be posting every Monday a new summer body workout for you. So if you haven't already go check out my latest ones. I so today is all about flexibility. Now most people don't realize how much stretching and being flexible actually like correlates with health and fitness they think oh you know especially guys you know they're just like I want to be strong I don't care about being able to do the splits or something like I get that you know but stretching out your muscles actually helps so much and, and I realized stretching before and after a workout it made me one way less sore two I could actually do the workout harder like I could push myself more I wasn't as held back because I feel like you know my muscles were way loosened up and could stretch more and just elongate and all that stuff and I didn't even plan this video like all my other videos I write down the exercises that I'm gonna do and you know I know the workout all that but today I'm literally just gonna show you all the stretching things that I do before let's say a full body workout because I'm gonna stretch every part of my body and so I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, please. I'm over 400 subscribers and I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me. I almost just fell there. That would have been kind of weird. Anyway, so let's get on with the video. your body and the other arm up in about a 90 degree angle just pushing back and try and keep your body just straight forward you don't want to just keep going back like that try and keep it forward and just stretch your arm you should feel this about in your shoulder and tricep area and you can just hold it like this and try and keep this elbow straight and then go like that kind of shake it out a bit and do the other arm This you should do before and after any arm workout. It just, I feel like it, you know, stretches a lot of your arm and I like that. Bring both arms up, put one arm back and reach the middle of your back. And then take this arm and just pull your elbow down into the side. It's kind of weird, but this you should feel also in your tricep right about in this area. Ew, I just touched my knee over right at this elbow. Okay, and then after every stretch, you should kind of shake out a little bit, just to loosen up. I don't, I don't know why, that just, it helps me. So, next arm. Okay. Ooh, this feels good. I haven't stretched in like a day. That doesn't seem like that long, but like, yeah. <laughs> now the next one is for your sides, your obliques. You put your legs about shoulder width apart or so, and bring both arms up. Breathe out and go to the side. Keep this elbow straight and arm kind of, your hand can go whatever, but you either want to put your hand kind of on your hip or down and just you should feel it right here in your side. So next one, you put your hands behind your back like that and then you keep your legs about shoulder width apart and knees slightly bent, just literally, because if they're straight, they're like that. If they're slightly bent, they're just like that, kind of just loose. And you just go up slowly, and hit your back. And then just keep moving your arms back, you can feel this in your arms, your back, your legs, your everything. your hands together but keeping your shoulders in one place so you don't want to be going like that but you're almost pushing your shoulders together from your side so just focus on something like pushing you like that they're not going like that where it's going to push your shoulders frontward where they can actually almost well they're not going to ever reach but it feels like it is 
but no, just something pushing on them like that, and it is it stretches your upper back a lot, and you can you know switch your hands around. Sometimes that helps, and I feel like that that's a really good exercise. Next one is for your neck. I know I have so many neck and shoulder problems about right here, and these ones really help. So. Put your hands straight down and act like your hands are being pulled to the ground. So, I mean, don't like tense up or anything, but just don't let your hands just hang there. Act like you're actually pulling something down. And bring your neck to one side. Don't stress it so much because your neck is very fragile. And then come around from the front to the other side. You should feel it right in here. My neck is so tight right now. And be pulling down with your arm. So this arm is pulling down right now. Now other side. You wanna stretch your neck a lot before you do any type of upper body workout, especially pull-ups and push-ups. That puts a lot of strain on your neck. Remember, slow, steady movements. You don't want to come out of this way too fast. You're just going to go down and come back up. And then you can do other type of neck ones where you roll it back. And go back again the other way. By standing stretches, put your feet together and go down. You want to keep your back flat. See how I am looking straight at you right now? My back is completely flat. You don't want to be like down like that yet. So once you're about at a 90 degree angle, then you put your hands on the ground and go all the way down. Now breathe in. And breathe out and go a little bit further each time you breathe out. Okay, now come up. And you can also do the same stretch with crossing your legs, putting them over each other. Now you want to do the same thing, put your legs wider than your shoulders and toes pointed forward. Put your arms out, straight back, straight back, and move down. And you can put your hands on the ground like so or kind of grab your ankles and pull yourself down with every breath out. So it's breathe in and breathe out. See how much further I went down when I breathed out? It's because your muscles relax and so you're able, this is weird, so you're able to breathe out and go further in the stretch so that's why you hold a stretch for they say either 10 to 20 seconds or 7 or 8 breaths or so. But here are some stretches that you can do on the floor. The first one is you put both your legs forward, one leg back and just lean back on it, just like so. And keep your leg in whatever position you started. You should feel it all the way in your hip and your quad. And then this is kind of a two-in-one stretch. So you can keep this leg right here and breathe in, breathe out, go forward. If you can reach your foot or past your foot, grab onto it and pull yourself down and forward at the same time. You want to have one leg out like so, put the other foot over a little bit above where your knee is and put your opposite arm across and then put this arm, this is a weird leg, I'm all twisted like a pretzel, put this arm behind your spine straight up and breathe in, breathe out and turn. What you do is you literally sit kind of like a frog, like that, put your legs kind of, your feet are pointed outward, your toes are pointed out, and you kind of just sit down, push with your elbows on your knees, you'll feel it right in here. So put your leg at about a 90 degree angle, or put this like straight behind you, pointed like literally on the ground you're not you know sideways like that no your knee is on the ground you're completely straight and then you'll feel it right here in this hip and on your butt cheek on this side your 
other side. So then you just you can lay down on the ground kind of like this. If you want to make the stretch way more complicated, then take the same hand that um, your leg is back and bring your foot up and then pull it this way and you'll feel it all in your quads. So this is like an all leg stretch. This feels amazing, especially after running. So what you do, you go in a plank position, then you put your butt up in the air, and then just keep bending one knee and putting no stress on this leg at all. So you don't move when you go around, and you will feel it in this leg. I'm gonna fall. Whoops. In this leg, in your calf. Stay there for a couple seconds. help you um, stretch your stomach is you go down on the floor just chill take a little nap okay so then put your hands on the side of your chest right here and just push up and make sure you're not dipping your shoulders like that that will put a lot of weird stress on your neck and it's not right you want to lift up and oh, you feel it all in your stomach. Woo, this is a relaxing stretch too. I feel like I'm a seal. Like, what sounds do seals make? Let me Here's what I found on the web. What sounds do seals make? Seals make a barking sound. Or, or, or. Okay. Okay mixture of a bark and eerie wailing sound depending of this on the species. You learn something new every day! Is that an otter? Don't they make that noise? Or is it seals? Like, I'm being stupid. I know. Don't judge. Eat fudge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was kind of fun. It was a different type of video than I'm used to making, but um, I thought it'd be cool to do. And so stay tuned. I love you guys. And.